It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Hey, preschoolers! It's Sunday. I love Sunday because I get to worship with you. And so let's get started with a word of prayer. All right, let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can celebrate and worship you today. Help us to learn from your word and let it change our hearts. In your name, amen. Amen. Let's get started. Woo! It's Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> okay, preschoolers, it's time for our memory verse. This is from 1 Peter 2, 21. Are you ready? Let's point up to Jesus, and we're going to say, Jesus set... Then I want you to give me two thumbs up. Good job. We're going to say the best, good, the best example. Then we're gonna to point to ourselves. We should follow, good, and let's march it out. So we're gonna say in his steps, ready? In his steps, 1 Peter 2.21. Good, preschoolers, let's put it all together, ready? Jesus set the best example we should follow in his steps. 1 Peter 2, 21. One more time, ready? Jesus set the best example we should follow in his steps. 1 Peter 2, 21. Good job. Great, I think we're it's time for us to go into our lesson. But before we do, let's pull out our Bibles. Now I know our moms and dads have Bibles and maybe you have your own children's Bible, but we can make one with our hands to sing our song. So let's go ahead and show me your Bible. You guys, everything in God's word is true. Isn't that so cool? So when we sing about God's word, we know that we can trust everything God tells us in the Bible. All right, let's sing our song. The Bible is God's special book. Open it and take a look. In it are God's words so true. He wrote them for me and you. The Bible is God's special book. Open it and take a look. Good job! Yay! I think we're ready for our lesson. Let's get started. Thanks, Miss Megan. Well, guys, this month we're going to talk about a very special man who taught others about Jesus. The Bible tells us there was a man, a priest named Zechariah. Can you guys say Zechariah with me? Zechariah! <laughs> Great job! It's a fun name to say, right? Well, Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth loved and obeyed the Lord, but they were sad. Can you guys make a sad face? Mm, yeah, they were sad because they could not have any children. One day, when Zechariah was working in the temple, an angel of the Lord visited him. His name was Gabriel. But Zechariah was really, really, really afraid. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid. God has heard your prayer. Gabriel told him that his wife would have a baby boy named John. Gabriel told Zachariah, John would bring joy and happiness to others, be a great follower of the Lord, help others obey the Lord, and help others to get ready to meet Jesus. <laughs> but because he and Elizabeth were pretty old, Zachariah didn't believe that Elizabeth could have a baby. Gabriel told Zechariah that because he didn't believe God's messenger, that he wouldn't be able to speak until the baby was born. <gasps> Put your hands over your mouth. <gasps> See, that's a great reminder putting our hand over our mouth that Zechariah couldn't talk and that we should always believe what God says. And just like Elizabeth was going to have her son, her relative, Mary, was also going to have a baby boy. And do you know the name of Mary's baby boy? That's right! It's Jesus! Mary visited Elizabeth. And the Bible tells us that when Mary and Elizabeth hugged, oh, just like this, John jumped for joy in her tummy! Wow! 
And when Elizabeth's baby was born, Zachariah and Elizabeth named him John, just as the angel Gabriel had told them to. But what do you think happened to Zachariah after the baby was born? That's right, he was able to talk. <laughs> well, the Bible tells us that God was with John even as a little itty bitty baby. And guess what? God is with each of us too. Oh, so cool. So this month we will learn more about John and how he helped others to learn more about Jesus. So our heart print this month is I can learn about Jesus. Let's try it together, guys. I can learn about Jesus. <laughs> great job, preschoolers. Well, it was great to learn with you. Why don't we close our time together in prayer? Lord, we thank you for today. God, I thank you that you allow us to learn more about you and your son, Jesus. Help us to remember all the great things from our lesson about how we need to obey and trust and learn more about you. In your name, Amen. All right, you guys, why don't we sing a song about all of this? All right, preschoolers, it's time to sing a song. Are you guys ready? Me too. Okay, this month's song is all about how I can learn about Jesus, because that's what we're learning about. Our dance moves are, when we say I can learn, we're going to stick up two thumbs and we're going to point to ourselves. Good job. We talk about Jesus, we're gonna point up to heaven. And then we say, follow him, trust his word. We're gonna open up our hand Bibles. Good job, and we can sway back and forth. Yeah, just like that. And then again, when we talk about I can learn, point to ourselves about Jesus, back up to heaven. And then finally, when we talk about how he loves us so, we're gonna put our hands on our heart, just like that, because that's where our love comes from, right guys? From our hearts. All right, let's sing it all together. It's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Are you guys ready? Good, here we go. I can learn about Jesus, follow him, trust his word, I can learn about Jesus because he loves me. Great job, let's try again. I can learn about Jesus, follow him, trust his word. I can learn about Jesus because he loves me. <gasps> great job, preschoolers, that was wonderful. Your singing voices are doing great. Be sure to practice that song this week, okay? And don't forget parents to print out that coloring page. You guys can fold it actually into a little book. There's a picture of John on there with some little critters. You'll find out more about him and those critters in the coming weeks, okay? And don't forget to um, stay tuned for an animated video lesson and some worship songs. Have a great rest of your Sunday, guys. Take care. Bye.